Hey everybody, Brandon Villarolo here for Tech Republic, and today I want to show you a few of the tips and tricks for navigating uh, video recording in a Zoom meeting. Uh, by default, it's it's pretty easy for the meeting host to record uh, a a copy of a meeting. Uh, all you've got to do if you're in a meeting is basically click the big record button in the middle of the bottom of your screen, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, if you want to let participants record uh, video, it can be a little trickier. You just got to make sure you got a couple things set correctly. Uh, for starters, this is not, this is just for individuals using Zoom. If you're at an enterprise level where you're accessing Zoom through your account, uh, like my colleagues at Tech Republic have uh, an actual uh, company-wide Zoom set up, you're going to have to have an administrator, uh, so probably someone in IT go through here and access the setting in here to grant permission for uh, participants to record video and for hosts of a of a meeting to grant those participants permission. Uh, if you're an individual who uses Zoom at home, either socially or in a small business or with other uh, co-workers who are tracked working remotely for the time being, you can change how you allow people to record video um, by signing into the Zoom web portal uh, at, you know, at zoom.us. Once you're signed in, uh, go over to the settings page, the personal settings page, which I have up right here. And then the second tab across the top is recording. Make sure you go over there and you have local recording toggled on for yourself. And hosts can give participation for, uh, can give participants permission to record locally. Make sure that box is checked as well. And then you'll be able to grant participants uh, in your meetings the ability to record video separately from the one you do. Um, so if we pop over here to Zoom, I actually already have a meeting set up with myself. Um, and I am going to show you how I would record if I was going to record it here locally. So if I was going to record the meeting that I'm hosting, I just write down here on the bottom, I click on record. And right now the recording has started. You can see it right over there uh, where it's saying it's recording right now. Uh, I can pause or stop it right there. I can also pause and stop it down here on this bar. This actually splits the entire uh, button area right there down into two pieces. So anywhere inside that area, you can click to pause or then stop. Uh, once you stop the recording, if you look over here on the upper right hand side, you'll see it says it's going to be converted to an MP4 when the meeting ends. And that's how it'll do that. It'll basically, uh, you know, save your memory, save your RAM usage and let you keep the meeting going uh, without buffering or trying to save a video. And when you're done, it'll ask you where you want to save it and what have you. Uh, and it'll process that after the meeting's over. If you want to grant a participant the ability to record, all you've got to do is open up that manage participants window, which I had open before. Go over here to the participant. In this case, I'm the host, and uh, I'm also the other participant. I click on the More button here, and you can see these options here. It doesn't show giving the person permission to record here. Normally it will, especially if you're, if you're sharing uh, a meeting with people who are also using the desktop client. In this case, I've got an Android phone sitting on my desk that's running uh, the meeting as well, so I can demonstrate what this looks like. But Android and iOS devices can't record video in Zoom, so that option won't even show up here for them. Um, if it was available, it would show right here, you know, give permission to record. And you can also tweak your recording settings if you are on the main screen. So there's some, some settings to, to adjust while you're recording. So if you go over to the main home screen, either by dragging your meeting out of the way or uh, ending the meeting, and then go over to settings and go to recording, uh, if you go over here, you can change where you store the location, the location where the meetings are stored. Um, you can optimize them for editing. You can record separate audio files, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, all the settings right here um, can be adjusted on the fly. So that's it for how to tweak videos in Zoom or to allow participants to record. For Tech Republic, I'm Brandon Villarolo. Be sure to stay tuned for more Zoom tips and tricks just like this one.